You gotta know how to shelter emotions. Cause you deal with a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm about to stand on this shit to my fear. Big money bags and I get it, no reverse. Put the whole gang on, you know that's what we were. You niggas let me Y'all know what's going on. We got my boy J Boy in these bitches. Let know what's going on, J Boy. What up, man? It's J Boy. You know, I T Z J B O I I the biggest and whatever. Yeah, so look, man, you know, we supposed to been sit down and really have to talk. Cause like, I've been knowing J Boy about a year now, so like, it's a lot of shit I don't know, like, and a, a lot of shit other people don't know. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I wanna start out like, how was this shit growing up in Houston? Like, you know? Technically, I didn't grow up in Houston. I grew yeah. up in Baton Rouge, you know what I'm saying? Um, my parents had died, so I ended up out here in Baytown on the east side, and I went from, I want to say, junior high, high school, out there. After I graduated, I went to U of H. I'd never been back. So you went to college and Yeah, I went to college, bro, yeah. J-Boy do have an associate's degree, you know, yeah. but, you know. <laughs> so, like, how... How the music fit in into all this shit, you know? See, at first, I wasn't taking the music seriously, you know what I'm saying? I was just on the engineering tip, because I did like a lot of engineering and shit when I was in junior high and high school and shit. Niggas knew me for that shit. I always had the dope set up at the highs. My people let you smoke over there, so everybody came to my shit to record. You know what I'm saying? A nigga really wasn't rapping until a nigga got to college. I started rapping. I did a little bullshit song at the little U of H studio inside the library. And from there, that nigga was like, shit, I could really low key do this shit. Nigga really didn't get serious with this shit till like two years ago, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a bunch of songs that nigga done did, bunch of content that nigga done put out, but nigga didn't start taking the shit serious behind the business side of it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only 10% talent at the end of the day. Yeah. You feel me? So, so like, who was, who was like an inspiration for you? Like, 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 mm, inspiration for me? No cap, no corny shit would be my nigga Cartier, bro. Because I was at a time in my life when I came to bro, I was in a fucked up situation. You know what I'm saying? I let them know. You know what I'm saying? He was like, well, shit, bro, you know, you always good here, you know what I'm saying? And from there, me and bro done hit it off. I really kind of played him, though. Because <laughs> when I first came, I booked studio time as a rapper. <laughs> I told him, I like, hey, bro, let me mix my own shit. And from there, it was, it's just been, you know what I'm saying, to the top. And if I put it on my chain, put it in my ink, you know what I'm saying? That's what I believe in. I'm always going to stick behind my nigga. Sure. And fuck any nigga that don't like him, straight up. I know you mentioned um, Cartier, um, so like... Who is Cartier to you, like? Cartier is my brother, uncle, CEO. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Owner of the pharmacy. A lot of people try to imitate. Not too many could duplicate. What's the pharmacy? The biggest studio in, in, on the off side of Houston. Yeah. Everybody fuck with us. Yeah, fuck with So, like, from a rap perspective, what, what's your biggest weakness in the rap industry? My, so you know you gotta work on. I gotta work on being more consistent. I get that a lot. A lot of people tell me, "Hey man, be more consistent," because I put out a project or some shit, and then before I know it, before I put out another one, goddamn, it done been about six months. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas not really in tune with you no more. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you gotta keep it in their face. You gotta do this Instagram shit. You gotta build these networks with these other rappers and shit, and you gotta stay out the way. The hardest thing is staying out the way because no matter where the fuck you at, bullshit going to come to you. So you just got to know how to maintain that shit and then your personal issues, whether it be family or some unspoken shit that you got going on, you got to learn how to shelter that shit. You feel me? So Yeah, so, like, when it comes to that shit, what's your, what's your greatest fear in life? I don't want to fail. I don't wanna fail. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna fail, bro. I wanna be the best I can be. I wanna be that that solid motherfucker that everybody can come to, you know what I'm saying, provide and shit for my family. So I guess that'd be my biggest fear is not being able to provide. Yeah, that makes sense. Like um, 
what it what advice you can give an upcoming engineer or artist that like want to get going in their path but don't know where to start. All right, well, uh, upcoming engineer, you gotta know how to shelter emotions because you deal with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like your best partner can die, probably could have died. And you got a nigga that's coming in about to do six hours or your bitch may be on your ass. You know what I'm saying? And you got to act like nothing's wrong with you so they vibes can be good. Because if your vibe fucked up, you're going to fuck up the whole vibe. As the artist shit, build as many connections as possible. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, it, 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 it's not about what you know, it's who you know. You know what I'm saying? With that type of shit. Yeah. What's... What's some shit that you really can't live without? <laughs> my weed. <laughs> 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 nah, for real. Nah, some shit I can't live without, bro. Really and truly my supporters, bro. The little motherfuckers that do support me. I can't live without that. You know what I'm saying? Because without them, it's like who I'm doing this shit for. You know what I'm saying? And it just depends. That shit, it just, it's a two-way street. You feel me? So... Biggest yeah. thing is my supporters. All right, with your Bruce career, do you feel like um, Houston? Like, do you feel like you should blow up in Houston before any other? I knew this question was coming. You know, I knew this question was coming. All right, so my thing is, you're never gonna blow up where you where, where, where you at. You know what I'm saying? Your biggest supporters gonna come from motherfuckers that don't know you. It's going to be strangers and shit, because, like, niggas that know you, you know what I'm saying, they might feel like you owe them something, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, versus somebody that can't tell you from a lineup, but give you $100 for your show, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, somebody that know you, be like, man, bitch, let me get in free with you in the back, you know what I'm saying, so, but to each his own, but if you got the hood on lock and niggas fuck with you and, and, and shit, you know what I'm saying, it could be that. And you got some people that just stuck in with content of being local and don't want to go to the next level, you know what I'm saying? I'm on some shit like, nigga, I want to go to the next level, that's why I travel so much. Every time you see me in another state, I'm in somebody's studio, I'm engineering for somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, I could be with my girlfriend somewhere, I'm gonna go to a studio. <laughs> At least for an hour, <laughs> you feel me? So, like, I, 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 that's just, that's just me though. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, I gotta you, have my name. I gotta, I gotta spread it. Let niggas know what I do and shit. Yeah. Do you write your music? I used to. Now every once in the blue moon, bro, you, you'll catch me writing in my phone. But what I seen was been helping me more. Since I don't write, I take out my voice recorder and I just record me saying some shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I go from there. Or, oh, shit, load the beat up, and we we going to come with it. I haven't physically wrote a song since my last album, Liam. Yeah, well, it's album. J-Boy, yeah. The song Liam was the, the last song I actually wrote. Yeah. So what you, like, currently working on some new projects? Yeah, I'm working on some new shit with my boy uh, Ace Wave. We got some shit with Rizzo, Rizzo, Phil Ford, JP, Sauce White. You know what I'm saying? Got some old big names that I can't tell you. I'll tell you off camera. But, you know what I'm saying? We been tied in with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far, that's oh, my bad. As far as the new shit, big business is out and feet hurt. <laughs> that's that's the new two singles. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all gonna tell me. Yeah. How you come up with that one? Shit. Nigga was just in that bitch. I was standing on that shit, all that shit, standing on that shit till your feet hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, they just kept going you with that, that bitch. Man. Yeah. This next tape, though, bro, it's going to be crazy on how I'm going to do it. It's like, at the end of each song, I'm, I'm doing like a little chant, but the chant is going into the next song. It's going to be dope. I think people going to fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of bass hitting, like, yeah. you know, that J-Boy shit. <laughs> yeah, like, if you, if man, when you stepping out with you, like, I see you always in some designer, Dior, all white, Gucci, man, all of it. Like, but what's your choice? What's your go-to? My go-to, if anybody know me out there, nigga know I'ma go with off-white, RP my boy Virgil. I cried when I heard this, no bullshit. Yeah. I was really supposed to meet bro 
at his little store out here called Kids of Time in the Galleria. Y'all need to go there. Tell you, y'all go support, bro. But yeah, man, most of the time I'm being off white, bro. Off white anything. That's 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 my go to, you know. I like a mirror. You know, but my go to is gonna um, you gonna catch me in off I got more off white shoes than regular shoes. Yeah. So So go to off white. So man, any struggles and shit you had to overcome in life like to get where you at now? Yeah. Like what's your greatest struggle like? Yeah. Shit that really impact you the most. The greatest struggle is relationships, bro. I'm dealing with that shit right now. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, you gotta know how to make time for a significant other versus dealing with your own hardships. And I'm dealing with that shit now. I mean, we all human at the end of the day, but if you really if you really love someone or, you know what I'm saying, you really care about them, you gonna try to, well, ain't no try, you're going to, you know what I'm saying, show them that shit. You gonna show them their appreciation, that. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't got no other opinions on, oh, is this nigga really at the studio? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. shit like that. You got to support what they got going on too, bro. Because at the end of the day, your bitch going to be your biggest supporter. You feel me? So, and whatever she got going on, you got to make sure you support that shit too. But yeah, that's the biggest thing that I'm dealing with right now is fucking relationship, bro. Yeah. Man, before we get out of here, man, let them folks know they can find all the music. All the music, man. You can Apple, Google, goddamn, any type of search. I T Z J B O I I. It's gonna have black pictures. It's gonna be global on there. I'm never gonna change it, you know. So that's where you can find me at on the Instagram. Uh, you're not gonna find me on Facebook. Don't look for me on there. Uh, YouTube. I'm on a lot of pages, so you can just Google my name on there. Uh, main page, Global Entertainment Worldwide. So that's about it. That's all I got to say. <laughs>